Answer a question, choose a drop zone, release a counter, repeat. It's a simple sequence, but will it end with a £10,000 victory today? It's time to find out on Tipping Point. Welcome to Tipping Point. Three players will be facing our machine and they're all hoping to win thousands today, so let's meet them. I'm Theo, a personal trainer from Manchester. I'm Terry, a civil servant from Swansea. And I'm Jan, a retired teacher from London. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. So, in round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine or if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will have £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which, of course, come with the bonus prize. But also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those falls for you, it will double the entire value of your drop. And should one fall with a jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. All three of you are going to go through to round two, but you'll want to bank as much cash as you can throughout the game. So keep an eye on those double counters because they could make all the difference. Hands on your buzzers, here comes your first question. Created by J.K. Rowling, Thestrals, Bow Truckles and Flobberworms are all creatures that appear in which series of novels about a boy wizard? Theo. Harry Potter. Harry Potter, you're absolutely right. Well done, Theo. First correct answer is yours, so the first choice is yours. Would you like to play or pass? Could I pass, please? Of course you can. Terry or Yan? Yan, please. Right then, Yan, you get to launch the machine. What's looking good there for you? I think I'll try drop zone one. Drop zone one, let's do it. Fire one up, please. There we go, yeah. Just a quick drop. Lots of rebounds. Could be good if it goes flat. Right at the double, isn't it? Certainly in line with it. It is nice and flat. Now, is that mystery going to come forward and over the top shelf? Yo! Is it going to cling on? Oh, yeah, and that's really harsh. I'm sorry. Just sitting on top of the double there, but it's not going to do any damage to the bottom shelf, so nothing from your first drop, I'm afraid. Here's your next question. The 2020 series of which ITV reality show was relocated from the Australian jungle to Gorich Castle in Wales? Terry. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Yes, it is. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Well done, Terry. Now, would you like to play or would you like to pass? Uh, I think I'll pass. Who are you going to pass to? I think I'll go with Jan. Jan as well? Oh, Jan, they're ganging up on you. They see you as a threat here. Where do you want to go? I'll try drop zone one again. Let's see if we can get it working this time. Fire one up, please. In we go, Jan. Quick drop. Now, can we get this one flat? That's where your last one went. Oh, a rider, Jan. No joy there. Where it goes. A little bit slow on the release, I'm afraid. Which is no mm. luck. So, nothing from your second drop. You're down to one counter now. Here's your next question. Celtic and which other Glasgow football club are collectively known as Theo? Rangers. The old firm. It is Rangers, yes. Theo, are you going to play? I'm going to pass again. OK, who are you going to pass to? To my good friend, Jan. Jan again! Wow! Uh, so, they're going to put you into play again. Where do you want to go this time? I'll stick with one. Drop zone one again, please. Stays on its edge. This should go flat, yeah? Yeah, it does. Now, let's see if we can squeeze something over on that right-hand side of drop zone one. Yeah, there we go. Anything going to go here? The tipping point looks a little bit reticent. Come on, now. Mmm, just staggers them forward. Unfortunately, yeah, and the other two have forced you to play all three of your counters and nothing's come out. So, for the time being, you've got no counters left to play, so you are out. So, Terry and Theo, just the two of you left in now, three counters left to play each. Here's your next question. What group of pit vipers is named after the noise produced when their segmented tails vibrate? Theo. Rattlesnake. That's right, yes. You're going to play now, Theo? I certainly am. OK, where um, are you going to go, maybe? Can one? I have drops on one, please? You can. Fire up one, please. Very poorly timed release there, Theo. Getting a bit too excited. <laughs> <laughs> it is flat. Now, all Jan's hard work. Are you going to get to take advantage of it? 
Slides forwards. Is it going to shift them? Nothing's going to drop. Unfortunately, they're going to remain on the tipping point. So nothing for you there, Theo. Still got two left. Next question for Theo and Terry. In January 2021, Dr Jill Biden became the first lady of which country? Theo. United States of America. Yeah, absolutely. You're going to play again, Theo? I am. Can I have drop zone one, please? You can. Let's have drop zone one. That's better. Still staying up on its edge. Is this going to go flat? Yep, hey. it is. Now, what can we get over the oh, top shelf? Anything here? And are we going to get the tipping point to move? Needs a bit of lateral if it is going to go. There you go. Well done, Theo. And the double drops. Hey. Five counters for you there, which is £250. And we can double it up because you've got the double there, Theo. Ooh. So £500 for you from that one drop. Certainly makes the bank a bit healthier, gets you off the mark. Yep. And you've still got one count left to play. So next question for Theo and for Terry. What is the name of the classic children's game where the players load a mule with assorted objects before it bucks? Terry. Buckaroo. It is buckaroo. Yeah, well done, Terry. Now, would you like to play this time? Yeah, I'll give drop zone one a go. Right, drop zone one for Terry. There we go. Nice release, Terry. Oh, this is a bit straight. Do you want it a bit further right? Yeah. Is it going to be flat? Yes, yep. it is. Might squeeze them over in this corner. Maybe get a little bit of movement on the mystery counter on the bottom shelf. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, yeah, well, that's ah, really good. Took Excellent. them all out in the end, Terry. Didn't expect that. No. Ten counters, Terry. That draws you level with Theo. £500 right there. Let's take it and put it into your bank. And you've still got two counts left as well. Next question for you and for Theo. What was the first name of the medieval king of England who reigned from 1066 and was nicknamed the Conqueror? Terry. William. It is. Of course it is William the Conqueror. Now, would you like to play or would you like to pass? I'm going to stick with drop zone one. More action for one, please. Really slow yeah, drop. It's a nice spot, though. Yeah, just where I wanted it. There. And Mystery's going to get close, isn't it? Yeah, it's just on the edge. Good squeeze here. Yeah. Two over the top. Anything across the tipping point? No. Oh, no. Right, one counter for you and one counter for Theo left. Here's your next question. Levitating is the title of a 2020 UK top ten single by the pop singer Dua Theo. Dua Lipa. Dua who? Dua Lipa is absolutely right, Theo. No problems there. Right. It, it's got to be um, drop zone one, please. It does, doesn't it? Let's have drop zone one. Ooh, let's see. Your timing's oh, not great. It is flat, though. Anything going to go over here? I'm not sure it will. In come the corner. On. Just. Ooh. Is the mystery going to drop? Come on, come on, come on. No, no, it's not. Somehow it clings on. £100 did go for you. Let's give you two counters, £50 each, and £100 there, Theo. Let's take that and put it into your bank, and that's going to leave you on £600. You've now used all three of your counters, so for the time being, you are out. Terry, it's just you left in, because okay. it's just you. You don't need to use your buzz up. You do need to give me the correct answer to this question to put this last counter into the machine. Okay. Here we go, Terry. Here comes your last question. In a 1991 film, what title character known as the Prince of Thieves is played by Kevin Costner? Robin Hood. It is Robin Hood, yes, no problems. Well done. Right, one last counter. Where do you want to go, Terry? Drop some one, please. Let's have drop some one. Spins around. Oh. Stays on its edge. Is it going to be flat? That silver counter could be a problem. It oh. is riding. That's a bit of karma, Not yeah. what I wanted. <laughs> Gonna slide up. Oh, Nothing. No. So, the mystery lives to fight another drop, but nothing more to add, which means we have come to the end of the round. Theo is leading with £600. Terry has £500. Jan is yet to score, but he's going to get his own back on these <laughs> two. You watch. Yeah. Join us after the break to see which of today's three players will win through to our head-to-head -head and a shot at our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit.
Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Theo, Terry and Jan are all battling it out for the right to play for today's jackpot. In this round, they'll each have 45 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will give them a counter to play into the machine. However, this time, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. So, Theo, you are leading after round one, yeah. which means you get to choose. Would you like to play first or would you like to ask Terry or Jan to play? Can I play first, please? Of course you can, yeah. 45 seconds for you here, Theo. Every time you get a correct answer, I'll give you a counter. If you don't know, just say pass, okay? Okay. 45 seconds for Theo, please. Your time starts now. Which American golfer is the primary subject of the 2021 documentary Tiger? Tiger Woods. Correct. The AU is an intergovernmental organization with over 50 member states from which large continent? Australia. Africa. Jurok and Mangalitsa are breeds of what farm animal? Horse. Pig. Which Game of Thrones star plays Kim in Sky's 2020 series Two Weeks to Live? Oh, pass. Maisie Williams. In the abbreviation WC, when found on toilet doors, what colourless liquid does the letter W stand for? Water. Correct. Which Bronte sister wrote the 1847 novel Jane Eyre? Pass. Charlotte. In September 2020, Michael Kiwanuka's self-titled album won which annual British Music Award for Album of the Year? Um, Grammys. The Mercury Prize! <laughs> <laughs> Grammys is American, isn't it, Theo? Oh, the Mercury Prize is British. Oh, two oh, correct gosh. answers in there. You've got two counters. You've got two chances to try and set a decent standard for the others to try and aim for. Where would you like to start, Theo? It's got to be drop zone one. Yeah. Fire up one, please. Right. Come on. Oh, slow drop. Lots of ricochets. Is it going to be flat? Oh, it's riding. Oh, come on. It is riding, Theo. You've only got two and you've got a rider. Squeezing up. Nothing there. Nothing going. Right, one more to go in. Staying with one? Yes, please. Drop to one again, please. There we go. Quicker drop would be good. That's better. Hey, yes, that's settles. Anything coming over here. Come on. A few. Come on. Tipping point looks like it's ready and going. And it does. Yes. Well done. Ooh. Big sigh of relief. <laughs> Definitely. Nine counters, Theo. Rescued with that drop right there. £450. <laughs> Let's take it and put it into your bank. So it's going to leave you £1,050. One of them is the mystery prize as well. And you've won yourself a bottomless brunch for two people, courtesy of bruncher.com. Nice. Lovely stuff. Well done, you, though. We're going to leave you on £1,050. Thank you. Right then, Terry, you are ahead of Jan, so it's your choice now. If you think the machine's ready, you could play next. Alternatively, you could ask Jan to play. Um, I'll let Jan have a play. Right. 45 seconds for Jan, please. The time starts now. First broadcast in 1964, the long-running BBC programme Match of the Day primarily shows highlights from which sport? Football. Correct. Golden Gate Park is located in which Californian city? San Francisco. Correct. Which teenage dream singer released the fragrances Purr and Meow? Pass. Katy Perry. The name of which Greek god comes before town to give the title of a Tony Award-winning Broadway musical? Pass. Hades. A saxophonist is someone who typically plays which woodwind instrument? Saxophone. Correct. The 1996 part animated film James and the Giant Peach is based on a story by which writer? Roald Dahl. Correct. The olfactory bulb located near the front of the brain is primarily vital for which of the five basic human senses? Sight. Smell. The songs Dancing Queen and Knowing Me, Knowing You feature on which 1976 ABBA studio album? Gold. Arrival. It was a rival. I can't believe you're not a big ABBA fan, yeah? <laughs> uh, four correct answers. Well done. Four counts put into the machine. Four chances to try and catch Terry and close the gap on Theo if you can. What are you thinking looking at the machine there, yeah? What looks good? Try drop zone three. Yeah, let's do it. Fire up three, please. <laughs> Stays on its edge. Right, well, let's get this one flat and see if we can start shifting things about. It is flat. Right in the middle, isn't it? Can we get something coming forward? Setting that top shelf. Three more to go. Staying with it. Staying with three. Three again. Just a bit further left. It'd be good if it goes flat. Hopefully it is, yep. Can we shift those silver counters down? Get them out of the machine. Go on now. No! Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you've had no joy. No, nothing at all. Got Try again. Drop three. zone three. Drop zone three, please. Line it up, please. Between those two would be nice. Ghost drop there, yeah. 
Come on now, B flat machine. Oh, it is. I thought about riding. Are you going to split them? Oh, now, come on now. Big shell, big drop, broad shove. Now, right, one more to go. This is the big one, Jan. It's got to be three. Drop zone three, please. It's got to be three. Onto the other side. Wrong side. If we get it flat, you never know. A bit of lateral, they're all so close to going. Come on now, machine, what you got for us? Can we get that double going over? <laughs> oh, they're close to going. Anything gonna go here? Oh, we've got some in the end. It's not gonna be enough, though, I'm no, afraid, yeah. Not enough. Four counters did drop for you. We can give you £200 for those four, but it won't be enough to catch Terry. So let's take it and put it in your bank. And that means we're going to be losing you at the end of the round, I'm afraid. Uh, right, Terry, we come back to you. 45 seconds for Terry, please. Your time starts now. In retail, Boxing Day sales typically start during which month of the year? December. Correct. At the start of a game of rugby union, what is the maximum number of players that a team can have on the field? 12. 15. Who was the leader of the Liberal Democrats during the 1997 UK general election campaign? Uh... Uh, David Cameron. Paddy Ashdown. Mm. A yellow winged foot appears on the logo for which major American car tyre manufacturer? Chevrolet. Good year. The 2020 recipe book, Cook, Eat, Repeat, is by the TV chef Nigella Who? Lawson. Correct. Tysol Blue is a soft Welsh variety of which dairy food product? Cheese. Correct. The 2020 album, E3AF, is by which British rapper? Eminem. Dizzy Rascal. Oh. Which lobe of the brain is involved in forming long-term memory and contains the auditory cortex? It was nice. the temporal, though. Okay. Uh, three correct answers in there, Terry. Right, let's see if we can get you some money. Where would you like to start? Um, I think I'll go with drop zone three. Yeah, got to be, surely. Far three up. Yeah, settles yep, well. Just what Nicely I wanted timed. It. Yep. You get an assist for any to go over here, Jan. Could be good. <laughs> oh, nice draw. There you go. Well Excellent. done, Terry. Yeah, brilliant. Terry, 10 counters Excellent. across the tipping point. £500 in one drop. That's going to bring you within one counter of catching Theo as well. And you've still got two more to go. I think I will go for drop zone three and hope it goes to the right. OK, drop zone three again. Oh, I, I, I meant Ooh. two. <laughs> uh, you meant two, did yeah. you? OK, you need to say two then. <laughs> oh, it's riding, riding as well. There's nothing going to go in here. Just going to slide up and have just a fraction of it on there. Nothing. Got one more to go, though, Terry. I'll go drop zone two. OK, drop zone two it is. On the right-hand side. More like oh, it, isn't it? Could be good. Going to split them, though. Go on now. Oh, oh it is. Just going to leave them perched on the edge. <laughs> Not going to drop, I'm afraid. So you're going to stay with £500. Take it from the machine and put it into your bank. Okay. You see just how close it is, because at the end of the round, Theo is leading with £1,050, just ahead of Terry, who has £1,000. Jan, I am so, <laughs> so sorry, but I'm afraid with £200, we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing. Really enjoyable. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Jan. So it's Theo and Terry who will be going head-to-head -head after the break for the right to play for our £10,000 jackpot. Now, though, it's your chance to win an amazing cash prize for £17,000. Go to the website. Entries cost £1.50. Text WIN to 63339. Text cost £1.50 plus one standard network rate message. Call 09041 61 30 30. Calls cost £1.50 plus your network access charge. Or post your name and phone number to TP224, PO Box 7558, Derby DE10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10 a.m. on Monday. Welcome back to Tipping Point. We have just two players remaining now. Theo and Terry, well done to both of you for getting this far. About to find out which one he's going to take on the machine for our jackpot. There's only £50 in it and tons of money on the tipping point. So this could go either way. So either one of you could be playing for our jackpot. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put the counter into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the counter into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round 
will be our winner today, and they'll be playing for our jackpot. As you're leading, Theo, you can choose. Would you like the first question? Can I have the first one, please? Yeah, of course you can. Here we go. In 2020, for his contributions to understanding the universe, Roger Penrose was awarded the Nobel Prize in which field? You can play or pass this, Terry, if you're not sure. I certainly pass it to Terry. <laughs> <laughs> you're not even going to try. Right, Terry. Um, there, I'm either thinking either physics or astronomy. I don't know if astronomy is one, but I will go for astronomy. Going with astronomy? Astronomy, okay. yeah. Okay. Theo, if, if Terry had asked you, what might you have said? Peace, I don't know. You might have got, well, peace is a Nobel Prize, isn't <laughs> oh, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah I don't know. Was it the Nobel Prize for astronomy? It was physics. Oh. He proved oh. the black holes must exist. Terry, I'm so sorry. You just plugged for the wrong answer. Theo. Sorry. You get the counter there. Where do you want to go? Can I go drop zone two, please? You can. Let's have two. Smooth oh, wow. down that right hand side. Settles nicely. This could be nice oh, wow. if you take that silver counter out. That's just nipping into three. Oh, but oh, it won't oh. go. Nothing. Nothing's going to go there. Oh, OK, Terry, still in here. Time for your first question. OK. In 2020, Spanish footballer Thiago Alcantara signed to which Premier League team for £25 million? You can play this or you can pass to Theo if you're not sure. Um, I'm going to pass it. You're going to pass I'm it? I'm going to pass. You don't want to take the risk? OK. Theo, you into your football? Mm, so, so. OK, <laughs> any ideas? And um, This will be a total guess, but I'd say Arsenal. You're going with Arsenal? Yeah. Terry, what would you have said? I was going to say Man United. You were going to go Manchester yeah. United. Have you done the right thing? Has Theo found the right answer? <sighs> Is the answer Arsenal? It's not, no. And it's not United, it was Liverpool. It was oh. Liverpool. You did the right thing by passing, Terry. So you get the counter. Where do you want to put it? I'll go drop zone two. OK, drop zone two it is. There oh, yes, it is. that's Hard what I wanted it, yeah. Surely that's going to take it out this time. Come on. Yeah, there we go. This could be good. This could be very good. It Brilliant. is good. Excellent. Well done. That's 13 counters across the tipping point, Terry. £650. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. And that's going to put you on £1,650. You've got your hands on a prize as well, which is a golfing weekend for two, courtesy of Nail Coat Hall. Do you play golf, Terry? No, but I will do now. <laughs> yes, you will indeed. You'll have a lovely weekend. You'll really enjoy that. More importantly, you've taken the lead. Control comes back to you, Theo. Time for your second question. In the Iron Man series of films, the fictional character Pepper Potts shares her real name with which US state? Do you know what? I know this. I'm currently watching, like, the whole Marvel Universe, so I should know this. Okay. And I can see a face. Yeah. And I can't think of a name. No, I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. pass it. Because it, oh, I should know this. I love Marvel. <laughs> you can't think of it. Terry, are you into your Marvel films? No, I'm not. I've never watched them, but I can think of a few American states. OK. None that would be any names. I know Dakota sounds like a name. I'm going to go Dakota. Dakota? Yeah. OK. Theo, has it come to you while you've been...? It's not come to me. It's not come to you. Let's find out. Is the answer Dakota? It's not, no. Virginia. Virginia. Played by Gwyneth Paltrow. Wouldn't have got that. So Terry sadly was wrong, but you get the counter. That's the good news. And we need to start trying to close this gap, Theo. Where are you going to go? I'm torn between drop zone two and four. I'm going to go with two, you know. Let's do it. Drop zone two, please. Sort of towards the left, the top shelf. Bottom shelf looks pretty good. Ooh, what do we think? Uh, I hope it don't ride. Is it going to be black? I'm not sure it will be. Oh, it is! Yeah. yeah, that could work. Those few in the middle there, if they get a little squeeze, just there, hey. nice. A couple across the tipping point. Start closing this gap. Two drop in for you, 100 pounds. Let's take that from the machine and put it straight in your bank, Theo. That's going to put you on £1,150. Control comes back to you, Terry. Time for your second question. Actor Don Warrington plays Commissioner Selwyn Patterson in which BBC crime series? Ring any bells? Uh, it doesn't know, so I'm going to have to pass this to Theo. Right, Theo, come on. We can do with stealing this one. 
only things that I can think of is the bill, which was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, many years ago. Um, anything? You can give me the bill if that's the only thing you got. The bill. You've got to give me something. So we're going to go with the bill. We'll go with the bill. You've got to give me something. <laughs> Terry, do you have any ideas? Well, I was thinking two, but I wasn't sure if they were on BBC. Okay, which ones were you thinking? Um, either the Fall or Line of Duty. Fall or Line of Duty. Do they bring any bells, Theo? I like Line of Duty as well. <laughs> Let's see if the bill is right, Theo. <laughs> is the answer the bill? No, and it's not your two, it's Death in Paradise. Oh. Okay. Death in oh. Paradise, set in the Caribbean, of course. Uh, Terry, good pass, you get the counter. Where do you want to put it? I think I'm going to go with Drop Zone 2, as they're hanging on the edge of the they top are, shelf. aren't they, yeah. Drop Zone 2, please. Really busy drop. Mm -hmm. Didn't want to settle for you. Could be nice if it's flat, Terry. Let's hope so. Come on, now. Yeah, there we yeah. go. Can we squeeze something over the top shelf? Maybe extend your lead? Come on. Not sure. Oh, oh they don't want to come off, do they? They really don't. So nothing drops. Fortunately, no damage done. Theo, we come back to you. Time for your third and final question. In singing, which male voice is higher than bass, but lower than tenor? You into your singing? I try, in the shower. Get Celine Dion. <laughs> A little bit, yeah. <laughs> um, but... Mm, I'm not going to guess, so I'm going to pass. Terry, come on now. Can you think of any of those voices? Um, I'm thinking Octo. Octo? I, yeah, I'm not sure if that's a, a voice, but that sprung... That was the first thought Something that came in into head. my head. Yes, yeah. gone Oct Should we go Octo? Octo, Octo. yeah. Octo. Terry's gone Octo. Could be something in that. Let's see if you're right. Is the answer Octo? Uh, it's actually Baritone. Oh, I think right. maybe, Terry, you're thinking of alto. All oh, right. Uh, Theo, you get the counter, because <laughs> sadly Terry didn't know. Where do you want to put it? Um, I'm hoping Drop Zone 2 is going to be nice to me. Mm. So can I have Drop Zone 2, please? You can. Fire two up. Come on the on. left, where Terry left hers. Need is Just there. Stop. Oh, is that going to ride? That black counter is so close, even if it rides... Oh, it's not. No. It's flat. <sighs> Can you get enough on. of a nudge here, Theo? Somehow Ooh. not. Oh, wow. Just don't want to drop for you, though. No. So, Terry, we come back to you. Time for your third hey. and final question. In January 2021, how many former US presidents attended Joe Biden's inauguration? You can play this or you can pass. I'm going to pass this one, as it would just be a guess otherwise, so I'll pass right. the Theo. Theo, here's your moment. Come okay. with the moment, come with the man. So, I'm thinking maybe someone like Bill Clinton. Maybe he turned up. Trump, <laughs> did he? Was he there? I <laughs> think he's gone to mush, honestly. <laughs> um, I'm going to say four. You're going to go with four? Yeah. Four? Terry, what would you have said? I would have said two. You might have said two? Yeah. OK. So, Theo thinks there's about four. If you're right, Theo, you've got this count. You've got one last chance. If you're wrong, Terry, you're today's winner. You're playing for our jackpot. Is the answer four? Oh, it's only three. three. Oh. Donald Trump Trinity famously, did famously go, did refused to go. Yeah. But Barack Obama, heard Obama of him? Does, does. Yeah, he was there. <laughs> uh, George W. Bush was there. Bill Clinton, the three of them, they did come along. Uh, Theo, oh. I'm afraid you're wrong, which means we're going to lose you at the end of the round. Terry, very well played. That means you are today's winner. You've got another counter to put into the machine here, so where would you like to put it? I'm going to go drop zone two. It's got to be two, hasn't yeah. it? Surely this time. Five They're right on the edge. There we go. Come now, on. take out that shell. A lot there. Oh, Lovely. Brilliant. Look at this. Big Excellent. broad shove. And a great result as Excellent. well. Lovely drop there. Just keep an eye on it, though. That one counter looks like it might go. Yeah, it has. And do you know what, Terry? You finish with style. Ten counters across the tipping point. £500 right there. Let's take it and put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, with £2,150, Terry, you are today's winner. Very well Brilliant. done to you. Congratulations. Theo, I'm so sorry. That means with £1,150, we have found your tin point. Of course, you have won your bottomless brunch, Theo. Thank you so much for playing. Thank you.
Good stuff. Uh, so, Terry, as our champion in a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put this chatbot counter into the machine. Now, this one is bigger and better than all the others. If you get this one out, Terry, you're going to go home with £10,000. <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> Can Terry master the machine by finding its chatbot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Now, though, it's your chance to win an amazing cash prize. For £17,000, go to the website. Entries cost £1.50. Text WIN to 63339. Text cost £1.50 plus one standard network rate message. Call 09041 61 30 30. Calls cost £1.50 plus your network access charge. Or post your name and phone number to TP224, PO Box 75588, Derby DE10NQ. Entrance must be 18 or over. Lines close at 10 a.m. on Monday. Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. Terry is our winner today and has managed to get £2,150. Well done, Terry. Were you expecting to get this far? No, I wasn't. No, I've uh, really been lucky today. You've managed to play the machine very nicely. You're the one that's got the big drops when you needed them, and here you are. That's take on the machine for our jackpot today. Any thoughts what you might do with the money if we were to get the jackpot counter out? Yeah, I've just moved house and I still need a new kitchen and we've got a lot of work to do in the garden, right. so I would spend it on the house. Lovely stuff. Yeah. Well, look, it'd be lovely to send you home with some money that you can sort out the kitchen, sort out the garden as well. That'd be great. Best of luck. Thank you. Time to find out whether Terry's going to win our jackpot today. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you want to go home with £10,000, just get it out again. And you can have me 20 grand. See if you can get this drop with the double count on the top shelf of drop zone three. Here's how you're going to do it. I'm going to show you six question categories. For each category, you choose to play one, two, or three counters into the machine. The more counters you play for, the harder the question will be. The more counters you win, the better your chance of getting the jackpot counter out. It is as simple as that. Okay. Right. So, what do you fancy doing with the jackpot counter then, Terry? It's got to be drop zone four. It's looking pretty busy. Mm. And there's a mystery counter in there too. Yep. Okay. Let's do it. Drop zone four, please. There you yeah, go. Good. Rattles and slams its way down. Squeezes tight to the side. Ooh, Brilliant. double drops in as well. That wants yes. to make its presence felt too. There is a lot of money on that bottom shelf. There Waiting is, yeah. for you to pick it up. £50 drops in. Let's take you to £2,200. Jackpot counter nice and flat on the right hand side of drop zone four. Let's have a look at your categories. This is what we have for you. Literature, food and drink, music, geography, sport and human body. You can play them in any order. So where should we start? Music. Okay, I'm music. Go with music. For how many? Music for three. Music for three to get us going, please. In 2020, which group had a UK top ten album with Young Dumb Thrills? Busted, McFly, or JLS? Don't recall JLS having an album out in 2020, or Busted. I'm sure McFly made a bit of a comeback, so I'm going to go with McFly. McFly? Yeah. We're going to go with McFly, please. Young Dumb Thrills. It was a top ten album in 2020. Was it by McFly? Yeah. Brilliant. Well done. Oh, excellent. Absolutely right. Ten years since their previous studio album. Great stuff. Three counters to get us started. Yep, yeah, excellent start. Um, so yeah, we'll stick with drops on four. Drops on four it is. <laughs> oh, I wanted it the other side. Yeah, could have done with shifting a bit more, but let's see. There's still a lot of money on the top and bottom shelf that needs organising. I think it's going to squeeze that jackpot right over to the edge as well. Mm -hmm. Like that. Tight things oh, yeah. aside. Move the mystery and some of the others forward too. Oh, well Brilliant. done. Six counters drop in. Let's give you £300 for those six. The money's going to go up to £2,500. Excellent. Four again. Drop some four. Four up, please. Ah, Excellent. that's the one. That is the one. That's where I want it. Now, what can we shift here? I think there's a whole load that might go for you. Yeah. And oh, they brilliant. do. Excellent. Another eight for you there. Okay. So another £400. We are really rinsing the, the drop zone up to 2,900. Jackpot counts on the edge of the top shelf. One more to go in as well. Drop zone four again, please, Four ben. again, please. Uh, not quite, not quite. That's OK. Couple go over the top shelf, though. Might shift a few here. Mm -hmm. And they're going to okay. stay there. OK, great start, though. Look where we are with the jackpot counter. Your money's nearly at three grand. Yeah. Let's go back to the categories, then, Terry. 
I'm going to get literature out of the way. It's not my strongest subject. Right. And I'll go literature for two, please. Literature for two. Which famous bear created by A.A. A. Milne said, nobody can be uncheered with a balloon? Baloo, Paddington or Winnie the Pooh? Uh, the first one that came into my head and who I can picture with a balloon would be Winnie the Pooh. So I've got to go with Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh? You can line up Winnie the Pooh, please. Nobody can be uncheered with a balloon. Is that a line from Winnie the Pooh? Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Of course it is. Blue's the jungle the book, isn't it? Yeah. And Paddington is Michael Bond. Right, two counters. Good choice. Drop zone four. Drop zone four again, please. Lad up, please. Ooh. Nearly. It's just had a little bit more juice, didn't it? It's going to get a little squeeze on oh. it, though. Wants to go for you, Terry. That's it for does. sure. Three counters drop in. £150. Takes over three grand. 3,050. Very nice. One more to go in. Yep, drop some four. Four again. Oh, do it. Could. It could do it. A little squeeze there. Oh, yeah. brilliant. Yep. Flip over now. Wish he's going to come. And drop it in. Mm. £100 for those two. Takes up to £3,150. And you've won yourself another prize, which is a cookery lesson with a professional chef. Plus three months of live stream cook alongs, courtesy of Anne's Smart School of Cookery. Oh, there we are. I'll enjoy that, Ben. Fantastic stuff. And the jackpot count is on the bottom shelf, Terry. It is, yeah, we it's are getting blowing. closer. You're doing great. Let's go back to the categories. Four left. Where next? I'm going to go food and drink for three, please. Food and drink for three. A common ingredient in bubble tea, the starchy substance tapioca is derived from which of these plants? Daikon, ginger or cassava? Ever had bubble tea? I haven't, no. Um, heard of tapioca? No, I haven't heard of either of them, so this is going to be a wild guess. I'm going to go with daikon. Daikon? Yes. Okay, I'm going to light up daikon, please. Total guess this one, no idea. Is the answer daikon? It's cassava. A daikon is a type of radish. I see. Okay. OK, not to worry, we've still got a long way to go. We're still in really good nick. Let's have a look at the categories. I'll go geography for three, please, Ben. Geography for three it is. The Nazca plate is a minor tectonic plate that underlies which ocean? Pacific, Indian or Arctic? Nazca plate, heard of it? I haven't, no. Um, but I'm thinking more Indian Ocean. Um, Any reason? I'm thinking of... of um, when the plates rub together, it causes, you know, it causes like a tsunami sort of thing. Right. So that's what my trail of thought was. OK. And so I'm going to go with Indian Ocean as it's, it was out that way. So Indian Ocean. We're going to light up Indian Ocean, please. The Nazca Plate. It's a minor tectonic plate that underlies one of those oceans. Let's see if you're right. Is the answer the Indian Ocean? No. It's Pacific. Oh. The west coast of South America. It's named after a, a sort of a region of Peru. Right, I see. Oh, OK. We're still in good shape. Yeah. We can still do this, but we need some correct answers. Let's have a look at the categories. We have sport and human mm. body. I'll go sport for two. Sport for two, please. In the Olympics, how many different styles of stroke are used in a medley relay swimming event? Right. Two, four or six? Did you ever do any swimming? I did, and I did take part in the medley. And right, I think the on. first stroke is front crawl. Then you've got breaststroke. Then I think there's backstroke. And then I are then butterfly. So I'm going to go four. Four? Four. We're going to go with four, please. Which one did you swim? A front crawl. You did the front crawl? I did, yes. Let's see if you're right. In an Olympic medley relay, is there four strokes? Yeah. Brilliant. But you went last. The front crawl always goes last. Backstrokes, they start in the water. And the last leg is freestyle, but most people choose to do front crawl. Right, two counters. Well done. Get them in the right place. Yeah, the score drops on four then, please. Four up, please. Oh. Now, if that silver counter comes over and slides to the right, we've got a chance. Does it mm. fancy it? Go on, go on, go on. A little. No, 
doesn't want to. 100 pounds drops in, though. Let's give you that. 3,250 pounds. One more to put in. OK, let's go four again, please, Ben. Four again, please. Go on. Ah, no, a little cluster here. Not going to get at the jackpot, but come on now. Take a little bit more money. The money is going up nicely. Yeah, it is. It spreads, though. Ah! Yes, oh. well done. Five more, another 250 pounds. OK. Takes us up to 3,500 pounds. Stubborn jackpot counter, still on the bottom it shelf. Is, yeah. We've got one more category. Let's have a look. We have um, human body. It's going to be luck, really, luck with the question. But I'm going to chance it and go for three, because I think I need as, as many counters as I can get. Yeah? Let's do it. Human body for three. The rotator cuff is a group of muscles and tendons located in which part of the human body? Hip, elbow or shoulder? That would be shoulder. I'm quite confident on this one. Yeah? Uh, yes, so I'll go shoulder. Should we light it up? Yes, please. We're going yeah. with shoulder. Any reason why you're confident about this one? You ever damaged your rotator cuff? I often go to the gym and I've heard people hurting their rotator cuff, so... Talk about that. So yeah. you know it's your shoulder. Let's find out. Is the answer the shoulder? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Awesome stuff. Right, you give yourself a chance, Terry. Three counters, get a couple in the right place, and it's all yours. So we need drops on four, and I really need it to go to the right. Drop on four, please. <laughs> oh, yes, there's perfect. one. Perfect. There is one. Oh. Let's see where this is going. Oh, 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 just on the edge. Three counters drop in. £150 for you there. Takes us up to 3650 We are right on the edge now, Terry. One more we count are, yeah. in the right place. Come on. Right, drops from four again, please, Ben. Let's have four. Just need one more that way. Oh. oh. Ah, do you know what, though? If that black counter comes down, you never know. No. Anything with a little lateral on it? Oh. Three more drop in. Another £150 for you, Terry. Takes us up to 3800 One more to go in. OK, let's go four again. Drop zone four, please. Oh, no. Oh. Doesn't want to go that way. But that way. black counter could give us... A little bit of trauma and fun. It's going to slide by, it's going to slide by, it's going to slide by! Oh. It's right on the edge there. Oh, Terry, one counter drops in. Let's give you £50 for that. Takes you up to £3,850. Oh, that is close, isn't it? That is really, really close. It is close. very close. We're out of categories. We're out of questions, but it's not over. I'm going to offer you one last chance to leave today oh. with £10,000. As things stand, you've got 3850 You can walk away with that money right now. You could trade it for three counters put into the machine in the hope of getting the jackpot counter out. If you decide to take the trade, nothing else in the machine has any value whatsoever. You either leave with £10,000 or you leave with nothing at all. I, I didn't want to be here, to be no, honest. I didn't no want it to be here because does. it is so close. And I did say if it, if it was going to be this close, I would go for it. But then that's a good sum of money. And it hasn't been going right. Oh, I am tempted. Oh, what do I do? What would £3,850 mean to you now? I could get the kitchen done with that. I'd be more than happy with that. What but would £10,000 mean to you now? I could get the kitchen and the garden done. <laughs> but, oh, I think I'm just going to play it safe, I think. Because it's quite empty on the top shelf, isn't it? I, I'm going to take the money. I'm going to take that, because that's a good sum of money. OK, I'll ask you one last time, mm. then. Would you like to take the money or the trade? I'm going to take the money, Ben. Well done, Terry. You're leaving with £3,850, which is a lovely amount of money. It is, yeah. I mean, it really is. However, it is really, really, really close. And we'd be giving you three. As you said, only needs one in the right place. Yeah. We're going to play out this trade to see what might have happened. OK had you been willing to take that risk. Drop one. If it squeezes that silver one down, though... Which it can do! <laughs> OK. Drop two. 
gosh, Terry, it would have come down to this. I know. This was the third and final drop. Light it. Oh, that's what I wanted. Or is it yeah. going to ride? I think it might ride. If it's going to ride. Oh, oh. it's riding! Thank <laughs> God for that. <laughs> that is extraordinary. Oh, oh no, it, it would have done it. gone over. Just when you think you know what it's going to do. Oh, oh no. so close. Terry, <laughs> I'm so sorry. It did go, even with a rider. But you know what? We're not worried about no. that. Because £3,850 is a lovely amount of That's money, isn't brilliant. it? That's brilliant. I don't think my nerves could have taken <laughs> that, to be honest. But not only are you leaving with £3,850, you've won a golfing weekend and your cookery lessons as well. Oh, brilliant. Thank you, Ben. Uh, my pleasure. Have you enjoyed yourself? I've had a brilliant day. Thank you very much. Well done. Congratulations. Enjoy your prizes and your money as well. I hope the kitchen is, is suitably extravagant for you when you eventually get oh, it done. Oh, it will be with that. Thank you. Great stuff. So there you go. Cherry's leaving with £3,850. She's got a couple of our prizes. If she'd just been willing to take the trade, she'd be leaving with £10,000 because it's sitting there in the wind zone. Join us next time in the fate of three more players. We'll hang in the balance on Tipping Point. Goodbye.